Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here, and today we'll be converting binary to decimal form. So we'll take a number in binary, such as, let's just start with 1, 1, 1, 1. Now this is considered a nibble, funny word, of ones. If we would have had eight ones, that could have been considered a byte. But we want to convert this nibble of ones to its decimal form. So how do we do that? All right, well there's a little formula we can follow. So I'm going to actually divide these ones here. And we're first going to say and label these ones here. We're going to call this the zeroth position, the first position, the second position, and the third position because it'll help us later on. So with that being said, we're going to start with the zeroth position here. So in order to evaluate what this nibble of ones represent in decimal form, we'll, we'll use the following rules. First, we're going to start from the rightmost side and work our way towards the other side, bit by bit. So each one of these, let's start with the zero with bit. So what do we do with the zero with bit? First, we figure out whether it's a one or a zero. If it's a one, then let's apply our rules. Otherwise, we can call it a zero. We can consider that spot a zero. So let's see what that looks like. Again, we have one, 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 one. We start here and we answer this question. So what are the rules here? Well, we're just gonna say, two to the n, one times two to the n, and n denotes whatever position you're in, so either zero, one, two, three, and so on and so forth to n. Doesn't matter how many bits you have, you can always use this formula here. And what we're going to do is keep adding this to the next bit until we get to the n, so for this example, until we get to three. So let's work this out. We first take this number, so that's in the zeroth position. So we say one times two to the zeroth power, and we'll just put a plus sign here. So it did pass our rule. We're not considering this a zero because we do have a one here. Now let's consider this number. So this is in the first slot, okay? So if it's a one, then let's go use our rule. So we'll do plus one times two to the first power. We still have bits, so let's keep going. Here's this one. This is in the second place here. So we do plus one times two to the second power. And finally, we're getting to the third slot here to complete our nibble. And we'll do one plus two to the third power. And we can put a plus here or not, but there's no more bits. So we can actually consider these zeros if we wanted to. So that'd be just zero plus these numbers here. All right, so you're getting very close to getting your decimal number. Let's just work this out pretty quickly. So here, one times two to the zeroth power. Two to the zeroth power, anything raised to the zeroth power is in fact just one. So one times one is still one. So we'll put our plus here. Next, we evaluate this one. Two to the first power is just whatever the number is here. So it's still just two. One times two is two. Great, we have our next number found. Let's just put our plus in. Now, one times two to the second power. So two to the second power. We first evaluate that, that's four. Four times one is still four, great. All right, finally, two to the third power is eight, times one is still eight. So it's eight plus four plus two plus one. What does that equal? 15. And now you have your decimal form of this number. How fantastic, great job if you followed along, but let's do another example just in case you weren't following. We'll make it a little harder so we can officially say that one 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 is equal to 15 in decimal form to denote decimal form i'm going to put a 10 here because it's a base 10 and for binary i'm going to put base 2 so we know so this is just saying binary form and this is saying decimal form how wonderful we figured that one out so now we can use this technique to solve our next number but before we do, smash that like button for me and let's talk about that number. So this time I'm gonna make it a little harder. Let's do one, zero, one, zero, and then again, one, zero, one, zero. I know this might look daunting, but we'll take it step by step and get through this one as well. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna have the hang of this as soon as we're done with this one. All right, so this is the zeroth place, the first, second, third. Now we have a few more, so four, five, six, and seven. What this means to us at this point is that we'll still use our rule here. Basically, let's start from the beginning. We have in the zeroth position, a zero. So what do we do this time? Well, it's just a zero. 
then we add our next number. In the first position, there's a one. So this time we use our rule. So one times two to the first power. Let's keep going. The next one is in the second one. Well, it's a zero, so we just put zero. Now the following one is a one. So we're going to do some math here. So one times two to the third power. Labeling these positions does really help. So if you're still learning and trying to get the hang of this, well, I do suggest putting numbers right over your bits. We'll keep adding to this. We know the next one is going to be zero in the fourth position. In the fifth position, we do have something. So it's one times two to the fifth. Then it's another zero, of course, for the sixth position. And finally, the seventh position is one times two to the seventh. All right, what does this equal? Let's work this out. This is zero plus two to the first power is two plus zero plus, let's see, two to the third power is eight. Then we have a zero. Then we have two to the fifth power, which is 32. And finally, we have two to the seventh power, which is 128. If we add all this together, that is 170. So we can say now that one zero one zero one zero one zero, which is actually a byte of data in its decimal form is 170 binary and decimal. Now, just in case you don't believe me, let's pull up a converter real quick and double check. So if I type in 10101010, I get a decimal value of 170. That one checked out, great. And finally, the four ones give you a 15 in decimal form. And it shows the notation that I did earlier as well on this website. Well, congratulations, you've successfully learned how to convert binary to decimal. And this doesn't just stop here. Let me give you a practice problem. If you want, post it in the comments section below when you have the answer. Let's do 10011001. What is this in its decimal form? Let me know again in the comments section below. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.